Well, the Labour Party has actually signalled a reset in its relation with India. Let's now talk to one of the people who may have had something to do with that or certainly trying to influence the policy that way. Well, then, Agaraj, great to be with us. You're the director of the Labour Party's Friends of India. So you've been trying to make the Labour Party a little friendlier towards India. This week, you must be a happy man. A lot of it seems so, to have happened. Th thank you, Vikram. Thank, thank you for taking me on. And uh, yes, you know, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy. And you know, we've all, we have, I've always known, and as Labour Friends of India, we've always known KL stand on India and his interest, uh, both in the Indian community here and also um, India as a country. And that is now out in public uh, for everyone. And we're pretty happy. Now, one thing is we don't need to do much with uh, in Kia's leadership to actually uh, get him to uh, get him to be pro-India. He is very much interested in, in the relationship with India, as you yourself have seen and interviewed him, uh, the reset that he's talking about. And you can see the passion and the priority that he has for India and Indian community. So what, what has changed? And perhaps uh, so the new leader clearly when, under, under Jeremy Corbyn, it seemed to be a very different policy. A lot of focus on, you know, Kashmir was raised repeatedly, Khalistan, all of those issues were constantly, that seemed to be the, the, the priority uh, for, for Labour. But Sir Keir seems to have signaled a completely different path now. So, so when it, it comes to Keir's leadership, you know, any, any issues, as he was mentioning, any issues that we might have had in the past, uh, it's a complete reset. And even within, within the party as well, uh, in terms of the engagement with the Indian community and in terms of with India. Now, very interesting thing, if you see uh, for the Labour's five pledges, one of them, I mean, he uh, in his speech, he has referred to um, the relationship with India, uh, out of out of which with that can be mapped to two of the Labour's, uh, th three of the five main pledges, like economy, um, security, uh, and also for NHS. And all these three areas where he's referring to um, in terms of collaboration with India could certainly kind of improve. And not only that, he's, uh, what he was referring to as the changed India, the modern India, the, the confident India, and we have and, uh, the, we have to look at, look, uh, at the country with respect and with uh, and with mutual friendship and we could work on some global issues in terms of global security in terms of climate security in terms of economic security and other areas like ai and skills as well so it's it's a complete um, uh, complete reset as, as he pointed out so what is driving this could be one of two things number one is the recognition of india's position on the global stage right fifth largest economy and everything else that we that we know likely to become the third largest within a few years. Is that it? Or also partly a recognition of the important role that the Indian diaspora is playing out here. It's a very affluent diaspora, a diaspora that's giving back a lot to Britain. So I, I think I think both. Um, one definitely, you know, recognizing India's India's uh, position on globe and the mutual uh, two two big democracies, uh, two two progressive democracies, and what the mutual interest that we have uh, globally um, and you know areas that we could work together. That is definitely one part. The second is about the contribution of Indian community. Particularly, for instance, uh, as he was referring to the NHS, the contribution of our doctors, of our nurses, uh, in, 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 and uh, he was even, though, though it's non-partisan, he was even referring to the contribution of Indian community in running the country as well. Though we, though we want Keir Starmer to take a job, uh, he was quite uh, positive about that, that we have a British Indian Prime Minister. We are proud of it.